Number 60. Ray tracing for a flat mirror shows that the image is located a distance behind the mirror equal to the distance of the object from the mirror. This is stated as blah. Since this is a negative image distance. All right. Letter A. What is the focal length of a flat mirror? So in other words, if this relationship is true here, what's the focal length? So why don't we take a look at how to do it mathematically. So 1 over DO plus 1 over DI is equal to 1 over F. Okay. Now, it's telling us that di is equal to negative do, so why don't we do that substitution? In other words, why don't we take the negative do and plug it in for di, okay? So this would be now 1 over do plus 1 over negative do is equal to then 1 over f. Now this negative down here is really over the whole fraction, right? So this really becomes a subtraction, essentially. And then wait a minute, well, if I'm subtracting the same two numbers there, what happens? They go to zero. Now, wait a minute, you might be saying well, 1 over f, if I solve this thing for the focal length then, because that's what they're asking, i got to cross multiply this, and you're saying 1 divided by 0 is a number? No, I'm saying it's undefined. I'm saying that it tends to move towards infinity, all right? Or we are moving in the direction of infinity, or it is infinity, all right? One of the two, however you want to think about it. So you can also think about if these were almost infinitesimally close to one another, what might happen to then the focal length? Okay, and this number would be so, 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 so tiny, and the focal length would be so, 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 so large. All right, so it's basically going to approximate, it's going to approximate infinity. Yeah, why don't I draw it out? There you go. All right, and then B, it says now for B, this is A, B, it's talking about what is its power. Well, power now is going to be equal to 1 over the focal length, which, wait a minute, so power is tending towards, so focal length is tending to become infinite. So if the if the focal, if the focal length is going to infinity, well, then this whole fraction is going to zippo, right? It's going to zero. So the power is going to tend towards zero, all right? So there's no power. That kind of makes sense, right? Um, anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. Please help us out if you can by subscribing, liking, maybe even telling your classmates. All right, we got a whole bunch of other subjects out there for you too. Don't forget about us. All right, we'll see you soon. Take care.